Warren. Oh, have you noticed the change outside? It's a little warmer, a little bit more humid, uh, and that's the trend that we're going to see continue throughout the rest of the week. So if you've been missing those warm days and we've seen some this spring, well, they're coming back. Uh, we started seeing that today with highs near 80 today in Springfield with the warmth and humidity. You also start having to watch radar a little more closely. Uh, we do have a frontal boundary, which is trying to edge east across the area. Right now, though, things are quiet. We had one severe storm earlier this afternoon. That was in northeastern uh, sections of uh, uh, Newton County down there in northwest Arkansas, east of Jasper near the Walnut Grove area. Probably some hail with that one as it drops southeast into Searcy County. Conditions are currently quiet, though, across all of the Ozarks. But what do we find when we look up to the north? And north of I-70, we've got a string of strong to severe storms. Now, a lot of these storms look like they're starting to lose some gas as they're dropping southeast, but they have produced some hail. There have been some severe storms with this activity over the last few hours. Those storms will continue to drop toward the southeast, and I think while I think the tendency will be for them to continue to weaken as they drop southeast. They're probably still going to have enough gas to get into areas uh, like Lake of the Ozarks and point south and southeast into southeast Missouri. You can see kind of where that warm front is. Uh, we've got instability because of the humidity west of that front. Meanwhile, east of that front, the air mass is a lot more stable, at least when you take a look at the surface. That warm front's located right about in here. Uh, so with that said, and with the instability, that's still there uh, and also with a low level jet that we're going to find overnight tonight. We're probably going to keep those showers and thunderstorms percolating. I'm not going to say they're going to be severe, but still looking at some showers and thunderstorms bubbling that will continue to drop toward the southeast throughout the overnight hours. Again, Lake of the Ozarks uh, up toward Morgan County and southeast into southeast Missouri appears to be the favored path for that thunderstorm activity to follow. There will be maybe a marginal severe weather risk, at least for the next few hours, uh, with the risk of maybe some hail out a few of the stronger storms. Now, looking ahead to Wednesday, that round of storms moves off to the southeast, but it's going to reinforce this frontal boundary here across southwest Missouri down into north central Arkansas. And this is going to be a zone where we could bubble up some showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon a few of which could be strong to severe, and those could produce some hail and possibly some wind gusts. Here's our hour by hour forecast Again, watching showers and thunderstorms to our north right now. Those will clip along and clip our northeastern counties areas from Lake of the Ozarks, uh, probably areas like uh, uh, Morgan, Miller, Mary's County uh, into uh, Pulaski County, Phelps County will have the risk for some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity around midnight and shortly thereafter. That activity will continue to drop toward the southeast into southeast Missouri by seven o'clock in the morning. Mostly sunny conditions for the morning hours, partly cloudy as we get into the afternoon, possibly. And I think uh, there will be that risk again for some spotty shower and thunderstorm activity from maybe the Springfield area southeast across Mountain Home and then across Sharp County and northeast Arkansas. Temperatures tonight, not as chilly as they've been. Looks like low 60s in Springfield with highs tomorrow in the low to mid 80s west and upper 70s to low 80s off to the east. Looking ahead at the rest of the week, uh, good news for you is we will have a ridge of high pressure in the jet stream building overhead. That's a warm and dry pattern for us, by the way, and we're going to find the warmth. Uh, highs in the mid 80s, but with a trough moving into the western U.S., it still looks like things will turn active once again this upcoming weekend. So after warm and dry days Thursday and Friday, I think Saturday, most of the day looks quiet, but I do expect a squall line to take shape to our west uh, by late afternoon Saturday. That will edge into the area Saturday night. Could get some severe weather with that early showers on Sunday, but things look partly cloudy and dry the rest of the day with additional shower and thunderstorm chances Monday and Tuesday. It looks like we're still sort of feeling the influence of that active pattern into next week. Mm -hmm. More active mm -hmm. days ahead. Something mm -hmm. to watch out for. Viewers Club number Jamie. Number tonight, 151761 or jackpot stands at $700. All right. Thanks, Jamie.